Hey guys, what's up? It's me Tyranoid here, and we are here for my thoughts or review of the Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta. So, I didn't get as much playtime in as I would have liked, but I played it on the Wednesday for the early access and Saturday. And I got a good go on all of the game modes, and now I'm going to give my overall thoughts on the game. First of all, I'll just quickly go over like the arcade mode. Um, the arcade mode, what we got was pretty fun. I think it would be cool. It would be a cool set of challenges. Unfortunately, they really didn't give you enough to go on in the beta. You got the Darth Maul one, um, and you could only do the one star challenge as well. Though it was in sets of stars, uh, each one being a high difficulty. You could only do the easiest difficulty for both. And there was also like a droid battle. It was kind of like the old Battlefront, really. Um, it was 75v75. 75 75. You just dwindle their tokens down. But it was pretty fun, and it has the potential to be even better. Obviously, more of that will be unlocked when the actual game um, becomes available in November. Moving on to the actual main core of the game now. We've got the multiplayer. Now, before I start talking about how fun all the game modes are... I want to address the crates. Um, I did a little research on what I'd said in one of the videos and I understand that all the maps are coming for free. All the DLC maps in the game are going to be for us for free. Um, the downside of that is the DLC crates. Um, you know, all the supply drops and all shit like that. They're investing the market at the moment of the AAA games and it sucks. But this is just from my personal experience. I didn't notice too much of a problem with these crates. Not as much as say something like Call of Duty where at the moment they're just bringing in game breaking weapons. But I have been watching quite a few uh, reviews and opinions of other people that have played the game more than me. And they're saying that a lot of the supply drops in this... I say supply drops, I mean crates. I'll just call them supply drops, though. They're saying that they are very game-changing and that they are the progression of your character. Because I noticed in the game my character was ranking up. However, I don't think I was gaining anything from ranking up, if you know what I mean. All I was doing was gaining unlock slots on my character so that I could have extra things that I would earn from the crates. I'm hoping this doesn't change the game playing too much because otherwise, I mean, for example, for me, I'm getting the game a month after its release because obviously I'm getting it for Christmas. So by then, a lot of people are going to have played, sunk a lot of hours in and they're going to have a lot better stuff than me, which is going to put me at a hell of a disadvantage. So I can only hope that that isn't the case, but I guess we'll see. Moving on to the gameplay. The gameplay is smooth as hell. It is just great. It it played great. I didn't have any problems with it. Frame rate was smooth. The graphics are just amazing. Um, I don't know how DICE do it because, I mean, I'm, I'm a console fan. I love my PS, but let's be honest, a PC is more powerful than a console. But DICE just pull it off and they make their games look good on that console. Um, and Battlefront 2 is no exception. Um, Battlefront 2 looks amazing. It plays amazing. I never got frame rate dips or lag or anything like that. So yeah, um, performance issues are non-existent in the game for me. Um, but the game modes they gave us in the beta was Galactic Assault, um, Starfighter Assault and Strike. So Galactic Assault is your big mode it's kind of like i mean i didn't get much of a play time with it in the original but it's kind of like walker assault so it's sort of a game mode that y you have objectives and the battlefield expands as those objectives are completed and you progress it's almost like a multiplayer story if you know what i mean like obviously not we're not talking like a rich story or something like an awesome engaging story but you feel like you're in the battle and the battle's expanding and growing as you keep playing and finishing the objectives and it was really cool actually i mean it's a bit unbalanced i will say like for example it was balanced on because obviously you start off with the droid vehicle 
uh, the troop transport one, advancing to the palace in feed. That bit is balanced, I think. Both sides have equal opportunity. The clones have equal opportunity to stop us. And we have equal opportunity to get to the castle, um, the, the palace, sorry, um, in one piece. And then once you get inside, it remains balanced until you get to the final throne room. And then it's really difficult because the clones practically spawn in the throne room because they've got nowhere else to spawn. So, uh, the, but the problem is, the droids have to um, hold the area down, but the the clones getting in there can contest it and fight back and kill the droids and slow down. Us obviously taking a, the taking the throne room, and because they're spawning there, it makes it impossibly difficult. But I don't know what more they can do about that because there's nowhere else the clones can spawn because that is the back of the map. But obviously, I mean, they had these issues with Battlefront 1. I remember the beta for that was severely unbalanced for the side of the Rebels. Um, I'm sure it was the Rebels that had it really hard or it was the clones or something. Uh, not the clones, the Empire. So obviously DICE will probably get this fixed, hopefully. Hopefully they've taken a lot of feedback from people during the beta. Um, what else is there? On that note, yes, the um, all the pickups that you used to get from Battlefront One have now been replaced. Now you earn points, similar to the way in the original Star Wars Battlefront Two. After earning enough points, you would be able to play as a hero character. That's the same again here. Now, you by gaining enough points, you can play as ships, um, special characters like for the droids they have the super battle droids clones have the jet troopers and then if you get a lot of points and it does take a lot of points so you're not going to be seeing these people around a lot so it is quite balanced you can get your hero characters like in the beta it was han solo chewie ray and darth maul so um I do like that system a lot better because I felt like some people in the original wouldn't play the objective because they'd be waiting by these markers for them to come. And I mean, so far from what I've seen in the beta, everyone is playing the objective, and there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of reward for playing the objective. So it's encouraging people to. So that's Galactic Assault. Galactic Assault was a really good game mode. We'll move on to Strike next. Strike was a lot smaller. Um, it took place on Takodana, uh, which was the uh, place from Star Wars: The Force Awakens. I, I kind of at first, I never really had fun on this. Every game I had on Strike seemed to end in about a minute. Um, it was quite ridiculous actually, because I'd always end up playing as the First Order, and we'd always like. I mean, I wasn't even doing anything. I was useless in it, but we were finishing the game in a minute. Don't know if we just had a crap team, but it's a lot smaller game mode on a smaller map, a lot more personal. But I played it again on the Saturday, and it was really fun. Really intense match, because you have to pick up the objective from the castle in Takadana, and then deliver it to the drop-off point. The drop-off point is right next to the Rebels' spawn position, so it gets very, very intense. You need a lot of teamwork here. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough because we had a couple of useless members on the team. But it was a lot of fun all the same. So there's not much more I can say about that. It's kind of like just a small objective game mode. Um, I, the closest I can think of is like, you know, like Call of Duty's safeguard mode or something like that. Um, so, yeah, there's not much more I can say about that. Uh, last but not least, there's Starfighter Assault. Now, I never got on with the Starfighter mode in Battlefront 1 when I, because obviously I have been around my brother's house, played uh, the Starfighter mode when he had Battlefront, and I didn't really enjoy it. It was boring. It, it controlled well, but it was far too easy, and it was just boring, and I didn't enjoy it at all. And playing this on the Wednesday... I didn't enjoy it again. I found it very boring, very... The ships control differently this time. I think this time they're leaving more of the control to you instead of having a few buttons that do everything. And it, I couldn't get on with it at first. But then, like 
I did with the other game modes on Saturday, I gave it a second chance. And God damn it, I love Starfighter Assault now. It was amazing. It just... I mean, graphically, it blows your eyes out of your skull. It looks amazing. But then it plays so awesome as well. I mean, they have... I think it's 12v12. So, you know, you're looking at quite a big battle. And it's kind of like the Galactic Assault. There's phases to it. There's the battles progressing as you complete your objectives. Um, so there's a lot of emphasis on that. And in between objectives, they'll have moments where you can just... They're, they're basically The game basically says just relax, just kill the enemy until you get your new orders. And that's really cool. That's just... It's a moment for everyone just to cool down for a minute and just go for the enemy and relax. And it was it was just amazing. I mean, it controls so well, and I, I don't know what else to say. It's just amazing. I absolutely loved it. Um, and they also, I think, I don't know whether they did this with the original. Like I said, I didn't get enough time with that. But they throw in AI ships. I never noticed at first. Cause I was thinking, I was, I mean, I started one game. And got 14 kills straight off the bat. Uh, a few of those were real players. But I never realised. I thought this is a crap team this is. But it turns out there are AI in there. But I think that's a really really smart move. Because the AI themselves aren't that good. I never actually got killed by an AI once. Um, but I was killing them. And they they offer up a decent challenge. When you're, you're having a dog fight with them. And trying to gun them down. But when you do, it just makes you feel so great. I mean, it makes you feel like you're involved in a bigger battle. So you've obviously got like proper 24 proper players. But then you've probably got like, I don't know how many there are, but there must have been about 10 or 12 extra AI. And it just makes the battle feel larger than it is. And it's just amazing. I had so much fun with Starfighter Assault, guys. I'm re That's the one game mode I'm actually looking forward to. Um playing again when the game comes out and I'm hoping they've got some decent maps for Starfire Assault and I'm hoping with each DLC they bring out maps that accommodate for all of the game modes but we'll see um, on that note there's not really much else I can add to that because Starfire Assault basically in terms of like everything else it plays the same you get your star cards to upgrade your ships um, you earn points and you can play as like special ships or, um, but, you know, basically like I think in there there was the Sif ship, uh, Boba Fett's Bounty Hunter ship, the Millennium Falcon and there was Poe's X-Wing from The Force Awakens. So it pretty much, in regards to that, it's the same as all the other modes, it's just in space. But yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say now about this game. I haven't got much more to say because that's all they've given us. But it was it was a lot of fun, guys. It was a lot of fun, and I can't wait to get the actual game at Christmas. In the meantime, I'm gonna to have to play Call of Duty World War Two. Um, on that note, when that does happen, obviously I'll have Call of Duty World War Two videos up. I'm not that hyped for Call of Duty World War Two, so you can probably expect more Battlefront Two videos coming up on my channel than that because I think I'm just burnt out on COD especially after this year with the two CODs out at the same time I think Activision overdid it so anyway we'll see when we get there so that's my thoughts for this guys thank you for watching and I hope to see you back on the channel again sometime soon when I'll have more Star Wars Battlefront 2 content out so I will see you then and they only had three maps yeah I did play that quite a bit to be honest yeah, fuck you, I'm Boba Fett.